Thank you for purchasing the Blue Bonnet Bumblebee. These are the parts of the Bumblebee. In the box you will find the base assembly, treadle pedals already attached, the upright and wheel assembly with the scotch tension already attached, and the wheel attached to the upright. A standard bobbin, the two footman, the flyer axle, and the flyer, and a plastic bag of parts which includes the two wooden buttons, a drive band, two shaft collars, a little white spacer, two screws, a sliding hook, a whirl, and an Allen wrench. The whirl is in the plastic bag to ensure that the set screw is contained if it vibrates out. So don't throw away the plastic bag until you make sure that the set screw is in the whirl. These assembly instructions apply to all three of our B designs. To begin, take your upright and wheel assembly and insert the tenon into the base with the wheel facing the back. And then take one of the two screws and with the screwdriver put the screw in tighten it all the way down and then put the other screw, there's two screws, put the other screw in. Nice and tight. Be careful working close to the edge of the wheel. If you hit the edge of the wheel it can chip, so be careful there. Then take the two buttons, put them in the hole, and you can tap them in place. And you can actually use the, the end of the flyer to tap on this part of the flyer with the opposite part of the flyer against the button to tap that hole. Don't use a hammer close to the edge of the wheel. If you break, it'll break the edge of the wheel off. To attach the footman to the axle, remove this brass screw. Take one of the footman, fit it over the end of the axle, rotate it around past that corner and then around that corner. Then bring it up here so you've got some room to work. Take the right hand treadle pedal and put the loop through the hole in the bottom of the footman. Pull it all the way through, open it up, and bring it around. And then pull it tight. Then with the left hand treadle pedal and footman, you can attach it before you put it on the axle. Bring it through like that. And the same procedure, make the loop, bring it around the bottom, tighten it up, and then you can put it on the axle. And then replace the brass nut. And if you need to, if it tends to come off, just use a wrench or a pair of pliers to tighten it on a little tighter, then it'll stay on. And then treadle it to make sure that they don't bind against each other. To assemble the flyer, take your flyer and your flyer axle, screw the flyer axle into the flyer, and tighten it up like that as much as you can, just by hand. 
put your bobbin on with the end that does not have the groove, put the bobbin onto the flyer axle. Then take the little white spacer and put it onto the flyer axle and slide it up to the bobbin. Then take a shaft collar, slide it onto the shaft, and just tighten it down. Insert the flyer into the bearing, both sides, just like that. Then put this shaft collar on, but don't tighten it yet. Put the whirl on just to the end, but not up against that shaft collar. Just like that. You want some space between the whirl and the shaft collar. Okay, now then, with this, use the short leg of the Allen wrench to make sure that this set screw is tight. That will ensure that the whirl does not spin on the axle when you're tightening it up because this has to be this set screw has to be very tight so that you can tighten the flyer very tight onto the axle that will prevent the flyer from coming off while you were while you're spinning when you get to this point see if your bobbin spins if it does not spin and I'm going to deliberately set that situation up okay if it does not spin see how that's binding it doesn't spin free it's because this shaft collar is too tight against this spacer, so it's all in a bind. Loosen that, and it doesn't need more than the thickness of a piece of paper clearance, but it has to have clearance because it has to spin just that free. Then slide it to where the shaft collar is against this bearing, and then slide the back shaft collar up against the bearing and tighten it down. The set screw here and here, you don't have to get them super tight, just enough that they'll stay where you put them. This set screw has to be very tight so that you can tighten the flyer on very tight. The final part of assembling the flyer is to put the Sliding hook on, squeeze the small loop and the big loop together. That makes this hole bigger. It'll fit easily over there, go on, and then to adjust it, squeeze them together and slide it wherever you need it. As you fill your bobbin, you can move it very quickly and easily exactly where you want it. When you have your flyer assembly completely assembled, you can store the Allen wrench in this hole right there. And it'll stay there. To put on the drive band, hook the drive band over the whirl, either the large or the small part of the whirl. I recommend using the large one when you're beginning. It's a little easier to control take up and speed. And then just bring it around the wheel. Then to, when you get ready to change from one world to the other, just drop it over like that. It's easily changed from one to the other. Then, when you get ready to move your wheel, just take the handle and pick it up. And you see the drive band will pop up here on top of the upright set it wherever you're going to put it and if it's if you're not going to use it let the drive band drop down onto the axle just like that if you're going to continue using it just put it back on anytime you're not going to be using your spinning wheel please release the tension on the drive band To start the scotch tension for the first time, unhook it from its shipping position and unravel about a foot or so, 18 inches of band. 
bring it over the top, through the groove in the bottom, bobbin, and then tighten it up. And you see here the band is starting to stretch out. You want it to just be about right there to start off. Just starting some tension on it. And then as you start spinning, you can adjust it more. Very small adjustments have a very large impact. So very small adjustments are sufficient.